Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while since I uploaded, but I am back and I've got a vlog for you today. I've vlogged over a week or so and I've got some really nice footage to share. I went to London, been to some really lovely events. I've got a try and haul as well and a very exciting interview that I had on the radio. So I thought I would just kick off this vlog properly because I didn't actually film an introduction when I started it. But please do like and subscribe if you haven't already and drop me a comment if there's something you'd like to see in the next couple of weeks but I really hope you enjoy this week's video. So today is Wednesday, I am just having my morning coffee, but very excitingly I am going to be interviewed on BBC Radio 4 as part of their You and Yours consumer programme and they've asked me to talk all about TikTok and building a capsule wardrobe. So this is so exciting, I've never done any kind of interview before and it's on live national radio which is a little bit intimidating but we're going to be doing it over Zoom so I'm just hoping that my Wi-Fi doesn't cut out, that no alarms go off, that everything goes smoothly but I'm so excited just to chat all about fashion and how I create a more minimal streamlined wardrobe focusing more on my classic everyday pieces that I love and I love to share online rather than just one-off trend items. The topic I'm really passionate about and I think it's so relevant to everybody right now so I'm really excited. I will set you up so you can see the interview but wish me luck, I hope it goes well. Emily, tell us then, what's in your capsule wardrobe? It's great to focus on versatile basics that you can wear throughout the year, um, rather than just one-off pieces that might look great on the rail, but in reality, you're not gonna get the wear out of them. Emily James, TikTok fashion creator, Abigail Southern, digital fashion shopping editor at Hearst Magazines. Thanks for that. I've just come off the interview and I think it went well. It was really fun. I love just chatting about fashion and how to make more considered choices with your wardrobe. Um, I will leave a link in the description box if you want to go back and listen to my interview. I was about 25-30 minutes into the programme so I'll leave the timestamp so you can listen back to it but it was a really cool experience. We were talking about sustainability and fashion which obviously is really complex and there's no kind of clear way to do that really well at the moment but I was saying that a really good starting point is just to think really practically about how we're shopping and making sure that we're getting good purchases that we're going to wear again and again. Um, but I don't want to give too much away, so I'll let you listen back to it. But it was really cool and just a nice different experience. For the rest of the day, I really want to go into town. I need to get a bunch of toilet trees, but it is hammering it down in the rain at the minute. So... I think I'm just going to wait and see if that's going to ease off a little bit so I can walk in and I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Thursday. I've just done my makeup and I am about to run out the door because I'm going into town to have lunch with a friend but I wanted just to show you what I'm wearing today. It was meant to be a heat wave this week but it is so overcast and cloudy so oh, focus. So I've just got on a really comfy maxi cardigan. This is from Misguided. 
I think I've mentioned it before on my YouTube, but the quality is amazing. I'm so, so surprised with how thick and lovely this is. So really, really love that. And then underneath, I've just got on this white ribbed vest top, which I believe is from H&M. Um, my jeans are from Topshop. I love Topshop jeans. And then I've just got on my black Converse and a little flat bag which is from And Other Stories and my sunglasses are also from And Other Stories as well. So nice and comfy because I just want to have some lunch and then I think I'm going to have a little mooch around the shop so I'll either vlog it on my camera and put it on YouTube or I'll put it on my Instagram stories but I will check in with you a little bit later. It is now Friday. Um, we are off for some afternoon tea, which is really lovely. It's a very belated birthday present that I have booked in um, at Marco Pierre White. So really, really excited for that. I just quickly show you what I'm wearing. I've got on this blazer from Zara. My t-shirt is H&M. My leather trousers are, I actually can't remember. I'll put them in the description box when I do. My bag is YSL and my boots are H&M. Good morning, it is now Tuesday and I'm heading into London in a little bit. I've just done my hair and my makeup, I've got nice glowy makeup going on. I might do um, like an updated makeup routine for you because I've been trying out some new products which are very lovely and glowy which is what I like and I've just used my straighteners, these are from T3, just to do a bit of a loose wave. Um, it'll definitely kind of fall out throughout the day but I quite like how that looks. I need to get changed properly for the day but this is always what I wear in between getting actually dressed. So I've got on this sweater from H&M, which says balance. I got this at the end of last summer, so I don't think it's available, but they do have similar styles all the time. And then just some matching joggers as well. But I need to figure out what to wear today. Apparently it's 26 degrees in London later, so I wanna look nice. I've got a couple of events, so I wanna look really um, stylish, but it's gonna be hot, so. I need it to be practical, especially for going on the tube, because it's always roasting. So I thought I would get dressed with you and we can figure out what to wear. Since I've last vlog, we've finally put up our new wardrobes, which has been such a game changer. I'll just flip you around and I'll show you my section. So this is where I keep my many blazers and jackets, some hoodies, shirts and trousers. As you can see, I really love my neutral blazers, but I do wear them all the time throughout the spring, summer, autumn. They're really great basics. I would love to wear this one, I really like this, it's from another version, but I think it's just going to be too hot if it really is mid-twenties in London today. So instead, I'm thinking I might go for a pair of jeans. I haven't yet worn these, these are my cream jeans, they're this really lovely ecru colour. Um, I got them from ASOS, so I have them linked in the description. I just really like the dark brown stitching. They're not pure white, so I think they're a bit more practical to wear. So I'm definitely thinking I might start with these. And then I might just wear a nice, simple white t-shirt with it. I think that would look really cool. And probably some Converse. So let's see if I can find those. So I've just got a t-shirt, which I need to give a proper steam. But I think that would look really nice with the Ecru jeans. And then probably some Converse, because they're so comfy and I'm going to be walking loads today. Um, these are my white leather ones, which are really great. Or I might wear my black ones, I haven't quite decided. Okay, so this is how it looks with the jeans and the t-shirt. I've just added my belt. I got this from H&M recently and I really like it. It's just a classic leather belt, you can't really go wrong. Now, I'm thinking because this is a lot of white and cream, I think it might be a little bit much to have my white converse. 
So instead, I'm probably just going to pop on these, I think that'll match the belt really nicely. And then I can wear a black bag as well. So this is my outfit, really, really happy with this. These are such a good pair of jeans, like I said, I'll have them linked below, but they're a really nice, slightly cropped fit, so they're a very good length for wearing with Converse. Um, my t-shirt is from And Other Stories and it's a really nice, slightly oversized style. It's quite a thin material so it floats and kind of hangs really lovely. Um, my sunglasses are from And Other Stories. I believe this necklace is from, I want to say Estella Bartlett, I'll have to check and let you know. My lovely bracelet is from Raven James, it's this really gorgeous chunky chain bracelet and I really like the fastening. Um, my rings are from Anna Louise, my watch is from, uh, it's Casio but I got it on Amazon Fashion. And then I think I'm just going to grab my trusty Kate Spade knot bag. This is so handy, I can fit so much stuff like my headphones, my camera, everything that I need for the day. So I love that and I can wear it crossbody as well. And then I think I'm just going to pop a short denim jacket on over the top so I've got an extra layer if I need it. But if not I can just pop it in my bag. In London I just went to an event at the Marleybone Hotel which was amazing they had hired out the top suite so we had like a rooftop view of London which was so cool and it was with the Lancaster skincare team if you haven't heard of them Lancaster is a sun cream brand and it was so cool just hearing about them they've given me some pieces to try out which is really great I definitely am into like skincare and sun cream and just looking after my skin so it's such a nice time and now I'm just walking to Regent Street because I am popping into the Penhaligon store which is really exciting so I'm gonna vlog that as well So it's now, it's Wednesday today, yeah, isn't Wednesday. it? It's Wednesday, I'm back in London with Katie. We're just shooting some outfits today. Katie, what, what's your OOTD? So this little set is from H&M, waistcoat, trousers. My shoes are from June, and my new Chloe will be toned for her first outing. The first outing, I really love what you're wearing. So nice. So summery, I honestly so feel like we're on holiday. We're in Kensington and it feels like the south of France or something, it's so nice. I'm just wearing my denim jacket is from Zara a few years ago and then I'm wearing this really lovely it's like a knitted cream set which is from Giddy Hicks and it's so comfy we're about to get changed into some jeans but I wish I could just stay in this for the rest of the day because it is so nice but I think we've got two or three more outfits two left more. Yeah. yeah lovely can get so we need to get some more photos yeah hopefully get a tan and then I think we're gonna go for a drink as well so it's so not a bad way to spend a Wednesday
I last filmed, so I thought we could just catch up this morning. But first, I'm gonna make a coffee. I've already had one today, but the weather is really warm and I'm loving doing iced coffee, so I thought I'd make one now. And I'm just gonna run through how I make them. It's really easy to do, but every time I show it on my Instagram, I get some questions on how I make my coffee. So that is what we're gonna do. First up, I've just put a coffee pod in my machine. This is an espresso Maggi mix. I believe it's called the Cites or the Cites. It's such a good machine. I got it a year or two ago and I'm really loving it. And then my coffee pods are just from Tesco, but they are compatible. These are like the Tesco Blonde Blend and they're really great. I do have some decaf, but it's still in the morning. So I'm gonna make a caffeinated one. Now I'm just gonna grab a glass. Our glasses, by the way, are from Matalan. They're so good, they were really cheap and they're just a really nice ribbed glass. I'm really, really happy with these. And I'm gonna pop a couple of cubes of ice in the bottom. Just gonna put my milk in my little Nespresso milk frother. This is amazing, it gives such a lovely frothy milk. I really, really love this. And what's great is that you can do hot milk and cold milk. So I just hold it down for a few seconds and the light goes blue. And that means it's just making some nice frothy cold milk for me. And the milk is done, so I'm just going to pour that into my glass. So frothy, I love it. And then I'm going to add my vanilla syrup. This makes so much difference, I love this. Just a little bit in there. Give it a little stir. And I just like to pop a little straw in there. The only problem with these is that they're so addictive. I did actually have to run out and get some decaffeinated capsules the other day because I was having a craving at like four or five o'clock. And I know that if I have caffeine then, I'm just gonna be up in the night. So these are really great, but very, very Moorish. But I just thought it'd be nice to have a proper catch up today. I did vlog some bits and bobs when I was in London earlier in the week, but Vlogging in public is really intimidating. I'm not quite there yet, and I didn't get to chat through everything that I did, so I thought it'd be nice to just run through that today. I've got some really nice pieces to share with you. I've got some hauls, some summer clothes, and some fun little bits as well to share, so I thought I'm just gonna set you down now and then run through all the bits that I've got. So on Tuesday, you would have seen that I was in London. I had a couple of events. I had such a nice time. You'd have seen that I went to the Marleybone Hotel for an event with Lancaster, which was so cool. The weather was insane. It was about like 25, 26 degrees. I know I keep banging on about that, but that's so hot here and it just felt amazing. Um, and I would have filmed little bits of the Lancaster products. I did run through it a little bit in London, but in summary, Lancaster is a skincare brand. They have really beautiful sun creams and lotions. They also have some tanning products and their products give amazing protection against the sun as well as blue light, which is amazing. I have very sensitive skin. I'm actually in the habit of just wearing Factor 50 now because I don't tan, I just burn. And especially on my face, I wear sun cream every day because anti-aging is really important and just protecting my skin. I'm very freckly um, and I wanna make sure that I'm looking after it. I had like a one-to-one -one session with a lovely lady called Corinne who gave me a background to the brand as well as recommending specific products for my skin, which was amazing. So I thought I would run through those products now. I'm really excited to be using them, especially as we're having a bit of a heat wave. So this has really come at the perfect moment. Like I said, these are just the products they recommended for me. I think they have so many on the website. But first up is a Factor 50. It's oil free and water resistant. And it says it's sun sensitive, which is amazing. I think this will just be a really good all rounder for the summer. I can put this on my body. And it says it protects against UVB, UVA filters, infrared and visible light rays, which is amazing. I've also got some after sun repairing balm, which is a really great thing to have, especially because we're hoping to go on holiday this year. So that will be definitely coming with me. This product sounds amazing. It's SPF 50 and it's their Fast Tan Optimizer Satin Dry Oil, which absorbs really quickly into the skin and it gives you great protection. So I'm really interested to try that out. We've got the Nude Skin Sensation. This is for your face, neck, décolletage area. Sounds really beautiful and I believe it gives a really nice glow. We were testing some of the products out in our hands and they smell amazing.
amazing and they absorb so quickly into the skin. So I think this is gonna be an everyday kind of product that I'm gonna love. And then these products sound really cool. Lancaster are very well known for their Golden Tan Maximizer products. We've got an after sun lotion and an after sun serum. And these are designed to prolong your tan for one month, which is really great. It's called the Golden Tan Maximizer, so it sounds really indulgent and beautiful. It soothes and calms sun exposed skin, which just sounds really dreamy. So all of those products sound amazing. And like I said, I'm really into skincare and sun protection. So I'm gonna be trying them out and I'll let you know how I get on. Because it was all summer skincare holiday vibes, they also had some swimwear available. So I'm really excited to show you what I picked out. So this was the swimsuit I chose. I thought this looked so, so beautiful. This is by the brand Hunza G. If you haven't heard of them, I feel like they're really popping off on the internet right now. They do gorgeous swimsuits. If I just bring it in, you'll be able to see. It's like this really gorgeous, stretchy, waffle texture almost. And the colour I've chosen it is in a gorgeous, like nudie, slightly peachy colour, which I think looks beautiful. It's got a nice high neckline, which I really like, but then the back is so beautiful. And I've heard amazing things about Hunza G. I think they're very flattering. They kind of like lift you up, sculpt the body, which is what I'm all about, especially on holiday. I just want to feel confident and comfortable. So this is beautiful and I cannot wait to wear it. So that was from my lovely Lancaster event. And then after that, I was very kindly invited to go into the Penhaligon store. When we lived in Brighton, we were going to the Penhaligon store. It smelt amazing. So I was really excited to see the Regent Street shop. The decorations are insane. I did film a little bit while I was in there, but you walk through this beautiful decorative arch, all the bottles are beautiful, and of course it smells amazing. If you don't know about Penhaligons, they are a beautiful perfume scent brand. Everything about the experience is so luxurious. It's a proper treat to go in there. These would make amazing presents for somebody. And actually we have bought Penhaligon scents for our family before. Um, because they're very much loved and I was really kindly invited to go and find a new scent which was really cool the team were very friendly and they showed me around I smelled so many incredible scents but I'm excited to show you the one that I went for they really kindly packaged this up and even the packaging smells incredible so this is the lovely box that it came in and if it will focus you'll see that I went for the Luna scent which apparently is a very popular scent I'll see if I can find a description because I'm not going to pretend like I'm very good at describing scents. So on the website it describes the Luna scent as soothing and seductive. It has orange, jasmine, soft rose and fir balsam and it really is so beautiful. It's really nice and sweet. I know that I'm going to wear this every day. But that was what I did on Tuesday. It was such a nice day. Really fun to go to these events, meet the brands in person and just have a mooch around the shops myself. And then you'd have seen I went back on Wednesday with Katie. We went for lunch, we got some photos and just had a really nice day as well. So it's been a really nice week. I've also had an exciting delivery. Got some gorgeous summer clothes from Guinea Hicks. I I'm working with them over my Instagram, but this isn't part of the ad. I just thought it'd be fun to do a proper try and haul, so I'm gonna do that now. So first up, we have this really gorgeous knitted cord. I love this, it is so comfortable to wear and it looks so chic. I've got it in this really beautiful cream color. If I come closer, you can see, and it's this beautiful, very, very soft knit. And this is the kind of outfit that you could wear anywhere. I would wear this just to chill in at home because it's so comfy, but I've worn this out and it was so lovely to wear outside. You would have seen in my clips, I was wearing this for Katie and it was the perfect outfit to wear because it's so lightweight and flowy. I didn't want to take it off because I just love this outfit. But also I think this would make a really great holiday or traveling to the airport outfit because again, it's just so comfy. So. Really love this, I think it looks cute with a basket bag and some brown sandals, but you can wear it with trainers and a denim jacket over the top too. Just a really good versatile piece and I'm wearing this in a size small. I really, really love it. How cute is this little cord? I am in love. I think this is so pretty and perfect for spring, summer. I really love the color. It's this beautiful olive and if I come closer, 
you can see that the material is this lovely relaxed cheesecloth, which I think is really, really lovely. This would just be perfect if you're going on holiday or if you're chilling in your garden in the summer and you want to look cute. You could definitely wear this with a denim jacket and some cute sandals. I've just got on some Birkenstocks with this. But I think this is so lovely and yeah, really great all-rounder. What I love about co-ods is that you're getting two outfits out of one. So you could wear the top with some jeans or the shorts would look really lovely with like a white linen shirt over the top. I think that would look really cool. Perfect for a beach day. Just a really great all-rounder and I think this is so sweet. I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe so I'm very, very happy with this and I know I'm just going to wear it so much around the house to chill out in. And then finally we've got this really cute exercise set. It's in this really gorgeous coral colour. I absolutely love this. The sports bra is so comfy. It's got built-in padding which is really great and I love the neckline. I think that's very flattering. And then these shorts are so great. I don't like wearing shorts for exercising. I feel quite self-conscious because they're so tight that you're kind of on display. But I love that these have two layers. They're nice and fitted underneath. And then you've got this loose overlayer as well, which I think is such a great idea. They look really cool. It's giving me like 90s vibes. But I really, really like that. And I think this is so nice, especially for summer. So I'm very, very happy with these. I'm wearing a size small in both. It's a little bit later on and now my plan is to film a video for Instagram Reels and TikTok. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what outfit I want to do. I think I'm just going to do the one outfit as a get ready with me style. I bought this top recently from H&M, it says Long Beach. It's like a black cropped, really nice kind of vintage looking t-shirt. So I'm thinking I might wear that possibly with some black um, oversized ripped jeans. Or some smarter trousers from Zara because I know people like more office smart wear options as well. So I'm just gonna figure out exactly what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna film my video and I'll check in with you in a little bit. I also wanted to show you my new shoes that I received this week. How stunning are they? These are from the Rainbow Club. They do so many gorgeous heels. They do a lot of bridal shoes, but you can get them in loads of different colors. So instead of having them in like this gorgeous ivory white, I wanted them in a black so I thought they're so wearable. I know that I'll be able to wear them for events, for weddings, special events, just they'll be so, so timeless in my wardrobe. And how incredible is this Diamante detailing? I think that's so gorgeous. Just really elevates the shoe and makes it extra special. So thank you so much to the Rainbow Club for sending me these. I'm really excited to wear them and I know they're just gonna go with everything. So really, really excited to wear these too. It is a little bit later. I've just filmed a styling video and taken some photos my Instagram and TikTok so do follow me on there if you'd like to see what I've been up to but I think I'm going to leave it here for this week's video. I really hope you've enjoyed coming with me and please do like and subscribe and I will see you for another video very soon. Mm -hmm.